Hi, in this recording, I'm going to show you how to do 2009 semester 2 MST paper question 2b. In this case, we are given a is equal to 2i, b equal to i plus 3j, c equals i plus j plus k. We are going to compute the triple product a cross b cross c and a cross b dot c. Now, so to do this, we must know how to do the a cross b first, and you may want to recall again how do we do the cross product between two vectors. This is in Harvard Anton chapter 12, section 4. Say that if you have vector u cross v, this is a 3 by 3 determinant of i, j, k in the first row, and component of u in the second row, component of v in the third row, and you expand this determinant. So let's go back to the question. In this case, I'm going to find out A cross B cross C, alright? So in we recall that in part A. In part A, we know that what is A cross B? We find out that this is equal to 6k. Therefore, A cross B cross C is actually 6k cross with i plus j plus k, where c is i plus j plus k. Using the 3 by 3 determinant i, j, k in the first row, 6k means 0i, 0j, zero and 6k, and i plus j plus k gives you 1, 1, 1. Then we expand the determinant using the first row, which will give me i multiplied with 0, 6, 1, 1, minus j multiplied by 2 by 2 determinant, cross out the first or second column, which will give you 0, 6, 1, 1 again, and plus k, cross out the first row, third column, I'll get 0, 0, 1, 1. In any case, this is equal to determinant of 0, 6, 1, 1 will give you minus 6. So this is minus 6i. And the second one will be minus minus 6j become plus 6j. So this will give you a cross b cross c. Now for the second one, we're going to find out what is a cross b dot c. To find out what is this value. So a cross b dot c, remember, a cross b is 6k. C is i plus j plus k. Now you can write this as 0i plus 0j plus 6k for 6k here. And i plus j plus k means 1i plus 1j plus 1k. And when you do the dot product, you can multiply by component of i, 0 times 1, I get 0. Alright, and then component of j multiply, I have 0 times 1, I also get 0 again, this component of j, and the component of k will be 6 times 1, I have 6. So in the end, this triple product will be 6, a scalar. So this is the end of this recording for the solution of question 2b.